square, we gotta talk. Kingdom Hearts on the Switch is disappointing. Kingdom Hearts has an experience on the Switch has been made in support of cloud games. To make sure everyone knows what a cloud game is, cloud gaming is basically where you have to depend on good internet to play the game and for it to even be playable. In this case, for Kingdom Hearts, you will need excellent internet because even people with good internet had issues with 3. Now if you understand the concept of cloud gaming, now it should be clear that this is definitely not the Kingdom Hearts experience on the Nintendo Switch that many including myself were hoping for. The main gimmick of the Nintendo Switch is being able to take it out in public areas and play the games that you would play at home, yet this destroys the whole point of the reason why we wanted these games on the Switch in the first place. We wanted to be able to play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix and Kingdom Hearts 3 on the go. But with these ports being limited to cloud gaming, the chance of us doing this is very slim unless you have really good internet in your car, which in my case I don't. It just feels insulting that this is the Kingdom Hearts port on Switch that the fans get after wanting this for years. The games run at a rough 30 FPS and sometimes isn't even stable, which is a shame because a good chunk of these games are remastered PS2 titles. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 should run natively on the Switch no problem. 2.8 would possibly cause more issues with 0.2 and 3 may be a problem to port natively but they could just downgrade the visuals because playing it portably will be a good trade-off anyways. I think that both 2.8 and 3 could work if this is the case. This is the same console that is able to run Doom Eternal and Dragon Quest XI-S. This shouldn't be a big issue. The real bad part of this is that this may be the first Kingdom Hearts experience Switch owners may have, and it will be a very rocky one possibly turning them away from the series altogether. I love Square Enix and I feel like their best games that they put out are the unforgettable ones. They give amazing experiences and are masterpieces. Hero Coming to Smash is a case of them doing this amazingly. They made a Dragon Quest XI themed Switch. Dragon Quest XI LS release which was an amazing port that had its own enhancements to the game that make the experience all the more better and enjoyable. With them adding things such as a 2D mode and orchestrated songs and much more. It even had a 10 hour demo to let you get through the first few kingdoms and towns to get a good feel for the game to see if you liked it or not. And if you did, you could transfer your save over to the main game and continue from there. The original Urgent Trilogy even came out in the same year. Switch fans including myself were given an incredible entrance into the franchise and an overall great experience. I don't even need all this stuff they got to be satisfied, but I'd sure enjoy at least a fraction of it. Starting off with native ports of the games, they could have natively ported 1.5 and 2.5 and 2.8 with 0.2 being visually nerfed for the greater good and I'd actually purchase them. They could also have visually downgraded 3 and Remind and given us it and potentially add new exclusive features to the port and make it all the more better. That would be the ideal Kingdom Hearts experience on Switch and would attract way more sales than the cloud ports that we have now. I wish that I didn't have to say this, but I do not recommend buying the cloud ports of the Kingdom Hearts games at all. As a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, this is the worst way to experience Kingdom Hearts and it would be better if you just simply waited for a PS4 or PS5. And even the fact that I have to ask you all watching to buy a new console just to have a good experience with the series is ridiculous. Switch fans just deserve a better way to play this wonderful series and hopefully that happens. We are dealing with a double edged sword here. Meaning that if we don't support this, we may never see Kingdom Hearts content on a Switch again, which would really suck because Kingdom Hearts should be accessible on all forms of modern hardware. However, if we do, then that will tell Swear that these ports are okay in which they aren't. Personally, I do not see myself supporting these releases, because for one, they run badly, two, they have outrageous prices for the quality that we're getting, and three, because this could have and should have been better. Square, I love you guys, and I will continue to support your games as I think they're amazing, but please listen to the fans here in terms of this situation. This will conclude the video slash rant. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more content, be sure to click the red subscribe button down below. And for a question, are you getting the cloud ports? I'm very interested in seeing everyone's opinion on the matter. Let's all have a friendly discussion down below. 
if you'd like to keep in touch with me, I have a Discord and Twitter link down below. And yeah, this has been Mira, and I'll see y'all next time. Stay safe.